In this video, I'm going to show you some really cool maths games that you can play on Pokey for free. On Pokey, you can find free games that you can play online right now. I'm going to go up to the search here, and I'm going to search for maths games. I'm going to show you some maths games that I've been playing. So if I search math, oops, there we go, we've searched math. Right, you will see a section here, a category called math games. I'm going to select this. And you can see math games that you can play right now. So there are a few really cool ones that I really do like here. You have Merge to a Million. Now Merge to a Million is like a Tetris game where you're merging numbers with a selected color. And I'll show you this right now because we're going to play the game. I'm going to press play. And basically you can move the colored numbers to another section like so. The numbers will drop and they will merge when they're the same color basically. And you can work out the maths of what you need to do next and you want to merge to 1 million. You can see that I've already merged to 26 here. So it's a great little maths game that you could try out by moving the numbers and you can see the merging now. You can merge all your numbers together and uh, there is some more here. So I'm gonna <laughs> we're going to merge a little bit further. So let's go. Let's do a little bit more before we move on to the next game. So there we just had 16 add 16. 32 add 32 is 64. And as you can see, those crates that are dropping there are changing the gameplay just slightly. And you'll see how that works now as well. So I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to move this 64. Actually, I'll, I'll leave the 64. Uh, I want to select something else. So let's select this 4 here. Because it does change with these boxes and crates that drop. Because you can't move into those sections there. And you'll see what will happen. Right, so if I move over here. Then I move this 8 towards the other 8 to make 16. Now we have a yellow number 16, there's some more 16s over here, so 16 out 16 out 16 will be 64. So I'm trying to get it to uh, move some of those crates for you. You can see we've just merged some of the crates, you saw that there, so it's like a mystery number. So you've now seen how that works as well. So you also have a game called Hyper Snake. Now Hyper Snake, you basically have a snake that has these balls that create it into a snake that will move. You can swipe left and right and the idea is to collect the number and when you collect that number it will subtract, subtract away from the amount of balls you have in your snake. So I'll show you how this works right now. So you can see I have five balls in my snake at the moment. I can collect more and you swipe left to right and it's some quick subtraction, quick math for you. So let's show you how this works here. You need to hold down. So you can, I've just got rid of one, got rid of another one, I need to move quickly, I've only got two left. Can't get past here, but you can see I've kind of throws, and I'm still moving upwards. So I need to go into a one really quickly. Didn't make it. <laughs> so you can see the idea, let's give you another quick gameplay before we move into the next game. There's some very quick maths, and this is really cool because it gets you to think quickly. Think quickly on your feet, so check this out again. Well, I was moving to the right there, but it didn't let me move to the right. I really do like this one because it really does sharpen you up with your quick maths. And if you don't move quick enough into the right number or to collect what you need to collect, it will take away your snake. Show you this again. One, I'm going to move over to get that star. Yes, yes. Nope. No. Ooh. Yes. Yes, let's go. No. <laughs> What's 13? No. Uh... <laughs> uh, we're going for the five. There is a way to slow it down. Brilliant game. Well worth checking this out. I do recommend Hyper Snake. I also have this game called Numbers. So I'll select this now to show you what this is. I haven't played this one yet, so this will be far, this will be the uh, first time I've done this. Find the pairs of numbers with equal value or a sum to 10 if they are in adjacent cells horizontally. So they need to be uh, basically in a line across left or right together, and they need to be either equal 
all equal 10. So for example, 5 add 5 is 10, 3 add 7 is 10, 5 and 2 is not 10, and it's also in that horizontal movement there, so it's in the same line. But of course, if the numbers are matching, you could also go for those. So 1 add 1 does not equal 10, but I could select these as well. So let's see how this works. I'm going to select 1 and 1, 5 and 5, 3 and 7, and I'll just match those numbers. Now you can see that you can also do this vertically like this. Now remove pairs located adjacent cells vertically. So now this is up and down that I can also do. So 5 and 5 is also 10. 2 and 8 is also 10 and 6 and 4 is also 10. So some quick maths for you right there. This is going to be really fun. So let's see how this game advances a little bit more. Let's enjoy. Wonderful. Remember there that remember that there should be no numbers between them only empty cells so of course because there's nothing in between this six and four you can do that because it equals ten. Six add four equals ten bingo three and seven there's also just a number eight which is left on its own but we've just completed that puzzle right there so this is a really good matching game for you collapse pairs at the end of one line and the beginning of another if their sum is 10 or numbers are identical so here's another side of where you can continue here you can't do that because they're not but we can do that apparently there was numbers in between it I think there we go so this is another math game that you could try out on pokey